Hey guys, Brian here, and today I want to share with you guys my workflow with how I use the PBC to talk to Ableton and how I navigate through the PBC so that I can have a more smoother experience when I'm playing on stage. So I want to first start with the PBC itself. So we're now looking at the loop page. Um, all the red basically means off. And then the purple button at the top right is my uh, Ableton page. So this button will take me to Ableton. Um, on the left here, it's going to take me to my preset page. Now you can see in the middle right here, that pink button also takes me to Ableton. And the yellow button will toggle my click on and off. So let's go to my Ableton page now. This is my Ableton page. The purple buttons that are going one through five, those are turning on my scenes. Uh, the green button is my start button. The red one is my stop button. And then the yellow one is turning on and off my click. The buttons on the right over here, these are just my scrolling buttons. So this scrolls up and this scrolls down. And then the button right here at the top left, this one will take me back to my preset page. So now that you guys know what that looks like, let's head over to the editor to have a little deeper dive of what these buttons are actually doing for me. So this is my editor. This is page one showing my loops. We can see over here that this button toggles Ableton, which is on page four. So that's all that does. Page two is my presets. So the middle button right here, it also takes me to page four, but this button also turns on and off my click. So page four is here is my Ableton page. And the basic setup for Ableton to receive messages from my PVC lives right here. Now this note number is just an arbitrary number. It can honestly be anything as long as each button is a different note number. So this is number one, this guy is number two, and then I have you know, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine, ten. The only more interesting thing is the play button. This is note six, but at the same time, this is page two. So this button will do two things at once. It'll trigger something, whatever I wanna make note six as, but it'll also take me to page two. The reason why I did this for my play button is because once I scroll up and scroll down and find a scene that I wanna trigger, and I click on play to play that trigger, I want the PBC to send me straight to my preset page so I can start playing. So that is how I have my PBC set up to talk to Ableton. Now let's head over to Ableton so that I can show you how I map everything. So this is just an example page of what I look at. You got song one over here, song two right here with the individual songs on each scene. You got the click button over here that I would like to toggle, the start, stop, and all that stuff. Mini mapping is really simple. I just hit command M. Now I'm on the mini mapping. And then after I click something on this page, whatever button that I press on my mastermind, Ableton will receive that as a message. So since I clicked on scene one, I'm gonna to go to my mastermind and click on number one for song one. This is number two, so song two. And then I'll do that for the rest of everything, the click and everything, so give me one second to do that. So I have everything mapped now, and so if I click on number one, it's going to trigger scene one, and this one's scene two. This is number two. And then stop. So that's how I map everything. But one thing that I do often that I really like is that I can just do things on the fly. So let's say for example, the worship leader told me that we're gonna play a third song. And what I'll do is I'll look on Google to find out the BPM and the time signature. So let's say song three, this is gonna be in six, eight at like 140 BPM. Put that right in Ableton, save it. So once I have the song written out here, I can go into MIDI mapping, click on that third scene, click on number three on my PVC. Go out of here and click save. So now the whole band will be able to hear the click and play at the right tempo. Even though we might not have a track ready on the fly, just having the metronome in our ears helps a lot. So when I'm back on stage, I can just scroll on any scene. So let's say we're gonna play the third song and then click on play. So you can hear the click there, the band can know how fast or slow the song is, and then we can start together. So to recap on my workflow and what I do on stage, so I'm on my preset page, and I go to Ableton and trigger a scene, go back to my preset page and play a song. Sometimes when we added a song on the fly, since I only have five songs here, let's say we have a sixth, seventh, or eighth song, I'll add all that in and I'll scroll up and down to whatever song we wanna play, click on play, and then the song will start. 
So yeah, that's pretty much my workflow with the Mastermind and Ableton. Nothing crazy, it's pretty simple, but it just makes my life so much easier. So if you have a PVC and a Mastermind, I hope this gives you guys some ideas on how to streamline your workflow. And I just wanna say that the PVC is just one type of MIDI controller. You don't have to get something as massive as this if you wanna control Ableton. There's other things like the Morningstar that can also do MIDI mapping as well. But I hope this gives you some ideas on how to control Ableton with the pedal board. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys thought this was helpful, I would really appreciate it if you guys can hit the like button and subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.